Travelers, this is Jim at the Midnight Drive Thru, and welcome to Fallout. Not Fallout 3, not Fallout 4, just Fallout. Fallout 1, we call it now, but of course at the time, nobody knew whether there was going to be any more, and we're so glad that there are. But this is the 20th anniversary of Fallout, and so yesterday, on September 30th, it was free on Steam, so I picked up a copy. Originally, I played Fallout 2 when it came out. I never played the, the first one, and uh, of course I've played the other since, as you know. So, this will be something a little new for me. I had to run it on a virtual... Oh. I had to run it on a virtual machine in order to get it to actually execute because Windows 10 doesn't like it. At least, not for me. Some people got it to work. Massive deal back in the day. Doesn't seem like much now. But you would sit there and listen to the machine wind up the CD as it would try to read them directly off of the drive. Because, yeah, CDs. <laughs> the latest technology. War. War never changes. The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons, petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the US would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. Fat boy. In 2077, the storm of World War Fat had come man. again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. <laughs> And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door, under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. So there you go. Ron Perlman's first iteration. So we've already, as a result of having to fight with the installation, I've already got the options for display and everything set, so let's start a new game. Character selection. That's an ugly dude. Uh, it looks a little bit like Handsome Jack from uh, Borderlands 2. That's all we got? Oh, these were the old days, people. 
The kind of customization that we have now. Yeah, I was going to say she looked kind of like a, a Russian. Child, uh, grandchild of a Russian diplomat. Hit points, 43. Albert's is... So Albert's going to have to be a talker. Because his charisma is 9. Speech is 88. So... Now we can modify. Yeah, let's, uh, let's tamper with Albert a little bit. Now, of course, what the values of things are compared to what I'm used to is going to differ. I don't know what is inherently valuable in this game, because that changes from one version of Fallout to another, and I'm sure that this is going to be a toss-up as to whether or not the choices I'm going to make here are going to be beneficial to me. Uh, let's see. Well, let's, let's have a look. Sharpshooter modifies. Sequence and ranged combat distance modifiers. So, guns, perception is useful. That's always going to be hit points. Poison radiation resistance. Healing rate, okay. Additional hit points per level. Uh, characters who want to influence people with words. NPC barter prices. Number of skill points per level, level, dialogue options, and many skills. And intelligence is generally good. Uh, action points, armor class, sequence, and many skills. Luck. I know John likes luck a lot, but I tend to mimic my own life when rolling characters to a certain degree, and so I have a tendency to give them the kind of luck that I expect from life. Maybe I can give them bad luck instead of very bad luck. Now, does this, as I change this, no, I don't, s oh, it does change something over there, gambling. I'm not going to be doing gambling. You know what? Give me the points for everything else. So agility, let's let's bump intelligence up to very good. Good for charisma. And it gives us some additional mm. strength is always I didn't actually check that. Combat-based characters, yeah, melee-based, and pack rats. Well, I am a pack rat. So carry weight is something that I always like to have a little extra. I don't know if this game requires strength to operate certain weapons. I think that was added later in New Vegas. Because I don't think it was a factor before that. I could be wrong. But I'm going to put that those there... Uh, more perception, more perception. All right, so that's that's pretty well rounded. Maybe uh, yeah, let's bump your hit points up a little bit. Strength, perception, endurance, intelligence, very good, good agility, average charisma, hideous luck. Okay, optional traits. And metabolic rate, plus two healing rate. Bigger, a little slower, but a little bigger. Yeah, I'm 
I generally don't go for melee weapon types, so... Ooh, carry weight is lowered by 10 times your strength. Oh, no way. So I can, how many of these can I do? Wait, what happened there? Okay, so skilled adds five skill points per level, with perks only every fourth level. Normal is every third. And plus 10% to all skills. That's tremendous. So I definitely would like that. Plus 1 to all your primary stats, but you start with minus 10% on all skills, which would counteract what I just got in skilled and receive 5 less skill points per level. So if I use both of these combined, the net result is going to be... Skill points per level are going to cancel out. The 10% is going to cancel out. But you still end up with plus one to all your primary statistics. So using both of these, I already have the maximum of two traits. Okay. Yeah, if I use both of those, all this goes up. This generally goes back to where it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the default position. So small guns... Without this, or 61, that's the, the normal position. One of these, uh, good nature, was toggled. If I turn that on, it goes up to 71. Turn this on, it goes up to 62. But we get all these bumped. And from that, I could actually drop this. Oh, I can't, because it's already at its minimum without the, per without the perks. OK. Um, yeah. What are my options here? Save. Oh. Start. <laughs> Back in the old days when save games actually had file names. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. You're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I... I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We 
marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Do my best. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, um, a little more primitive. Now, let's see. Never before have you seen a natural darkness like this one. It almost looks unnatural to you. Okay. Can I do anything with this? Okay, it's just bones, I guess. Now, what about... Skill decks? So this is where I can... do things, I guess, if I were going to try to act on an object, I would, I guess, click on one of these and then apply it. I'm really not sure how this works, because I didn't bother to read anything. So, yeah, that's good. That's a map, which is tremendous. Motion sensor not found. Okay, well, maybe I can upgrade that at some point. That's just my character sheet. Print. Yeah, in the old days, um, gaming sometimes involved printing stuff. Status auto maps archives. All right, so that's probably like a codex kind of thing. Oh, that's so you could replay the cutscene that has the overseer. And I imagine as you encounter other characters, you, that list will grow. It's December 2161 at 5 a.m. Cannot rest. Okay, that's that's a rest icon. Uh, okay, that's all I need there. Now, what is... The, okay, so we scroll to some degree. I am playing in a window here, so I might encounter problems doing that. That's just... Okay, I ain't touching none of that. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try... Yeah, that, that's a thing. <laughs> Okay, so it came into range, and now my little panel has opened here. So this, that says end, so I can end turn or end combat. Um, I didn't get to the point of actually doing anything here. I have no armor. Um, is it too late to do this? So that's a pistol, damage 5 to 12, range 25, holds 12 bullets, 10 millimeter, jacketed a hollow point, and offhand I have nothing. So can I, do I just click this? Five. Oh, I don't have enough action points. Okay, well. 
Can I just... Can I cancel that? What is this? Okay, that that didn't really help me. Oh, that switches the to the offhand. All right, I see. And that's four. Well, I'm gonna use my remaining four action points. Okay, that worked. Cave Rat was killed. So, and combat? Okay. Fair enough. Now, this looks like it says single, so I can either... That costs 5 AP. No, no. Isn't there... Trying to figure out how this works. Hmm. It might not have a secondary mode. Let's just see. I don't know how you can tell. Oh. So when I right click, I can examine stuff. Flare. Stim packs. Bullets. Weighs a pound? I don't see anything here that shows. Oh, okay, total capacity, 9 out of 225. All right, well, uh, let's check out the corpse, I guess. Can I do anything with it? Uh, it doesn't have anything, so no. getting used to here. There's a bunch of rats over there. Is there any potential value to going over there? Okay, there's actually six rats over here. My chance to hit is not very good for the close ones. Mm. Sorry about my clunkiness with this uh, interface. Take a little getting used to. percent 54 so my range isn't really very good with this gun yet Is that, no that's actually 58 I thought it was a little closer right, so if I okay so he initiated it he uses his action points to get close to me And I blast him to death. Hit for five hit points. Not good. Okay. Well, let's... Use the remaining three to retreat. So apparently my action points per turn is eight so that's the result of my agility I'm 
still pretty close, so 65%. Six points and was killed, so his hit points are... Well, somewhere underneath 11 or less. Right? So, yeah. Oh, don't do that. It's a good thing it's turn-based because there's going to be some struggling with this interface until I get used to staying inside the borders. Doesn't hold anything. Okay, rat comes within range. We blast you into oblivion, hopefully. 11 hit points was killed. Nice. Not holding nothing. Stop doing that. a body, it's nothing that I can interact with. So, kill a rat. Ooh. We're crushing your enemies. You earned 25 experience. Okay. Great. Thanks. Also contains nothing. I don't know if I'm wasting my time, if it's supposed to contain nothing all the time. I don't really see much here. Are you going to detect me? Yes, you are. He zigzags his way up to me, and then I blast him. I missed. Maybe I could just end turn. Is that what's going on here? I get another turn? I'm going to try that next time, even though it might end up killing me. But I'd sooner be closer to these guys. 12 points and killed. Good. Till I know more, I'm going to keep checking them. seem to be anything here. Okay. Rat kebab. Nice. I didn't need... That was only seven hit points. So they're seven or less, not eleven or less. Assuming they're all the same. Which is probably reasonable to assume. He has nothing. Okay. Oh, points and dead. Contains nothing. Until you actually hesitate on something, you don't see anything. Okay. Well, I don't see anything over here. So I guess we 
work my way back. Was there anything? Yeah, that just takes you to the edge of the available space, I guess. Now at any time, I can check to see visible enemies through that. We've actually got quite a group. There's seven. So let's end combat and step boldly this way. And when I say boldly, I mean just enough to get... Hey! Hit me for three hit points. You jerk. I don't know what AC is. points of 36. I thought they were 36 by default. All right, well, whatever they were, you're going to get shot. And only hit him for 5 points. Now if I hit in turn, okay, that that recycled. Why does that say AC7 if I've got 8? Okay. Yeah, that's weird. He's right there, but he's not triggering on me. Yeah, that now he turns around and attacks. Nice. All right, well, you know what? That's what you get. That's your reward, buddy. Okay. Well, um, in combat, and it also has nothing. So yeah, that was. That's a cave rat. That's more garbage. Weird. There you go. Use up all your action points. Get me close. What? Wait, what? That doesn't use up any action points, apparently, which is good. Why can I not... Can I... I don't suppose I can zoom in or anything, huh? No. Oh, but I can use the mouse wheel to move up and down without going to the edge of the map. Good. Is he like stuck in the rocks or something? Why is this a problem? I'm out of 
ammo. Reload. All right, how do I do that? I have to manually reload? I don't... Okay, so on that, that reloaded it. I don't know why it used three as the number. That's the minimum. Oh, it does have minimum strength. Minimum strength three. So yeah, it's a good thing I have good strength because I'm gonna wanna use better weapons as soon as I can find them. I'm gonna take a turn. And now I'm going to blast you. I didn't realize it was that's why it was giving me the X. There was no ammo. So blast him. Try again. Got him that time. Five rats remaining. But before I do anything else, it now contains four shots of 10 millimeters. So if I go to, if my theory is correct, and each one of these one values equals four bullets, yeah, that brings it up to 12 to 12. Good deal. I don't know if that's something that's going to be continuous and consistent. You're going to get close. There you go. It's good when you come on your own. Lemo. Come on, Mr. Rat. Let's do this. Did we get everybody? I think we did. To the west, you can see a natural light. For the first time in your life, you're looking at the outside world. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that... You see bones. You think these might be horned kangaroo bones, but you cannot be sure they're too weathered to make a final determination. Okay. With that, uh... Whoa. Okay, so that puts me on the world map, leaving that zone. Well, town world. Oh. Okay, so I guess if I'm Oh, it actually is. I'm like, why is it showing this poster? It's cuz it's showing the entrance of the vault and neat. All right. So, we the only thing we have as a destination is vault 15 over here. So I don't know. Should I just like 
try to do it in one jump, or should I go a square at a time? Okay, that only took 10 minutes of my time. What do we got, a random encounter here? Uh, exhausted, you nearly fall over some rough terrain. They could really use a gek out here. You escape with no damage. So, do I just go this way? I mean, that's kind of the direction I was heading, right? Okay. Alright, well, let's, let's try going as far as we can here. No, can I hit another event? You come across the bones of a long-dead traveler. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, he's got stuff. Well, he doesn't, but his backpack does. Okay, you see him back. Did I take it? It's kind of hard to see well enough to know. Yeah, it's. I think I got some bullets. Is it possible that I did? These were at five before, so I definitely have that. This has eight shots in it, so I want to take and put one to top that off, and we're done. So let's keep on trucking towards Vault 15. Guess I gotta go off there. Okay, I'm being attacked. Let's just have a quick look-see. This is a mantis, another mantis, and a weary traveler. More mantises. Oh, this is going to be unpleasant. Well, it's a good thing that I reloaded my pistol, isn't it? Hit for 12 hit points and is not dead. That's not great. All right, I'm going to try to move. Away. So these things can't all hit me. Okay, well, the one I wanted to hit. Hit him for 10 hit points and still alive. This could be bad. This could be like really bad. They are definitely trying to surround me. track of which one was the one I had been shooting at, but I'm going to have to keep shooting, so pick one and go for it. He was hit for... Oh. 
Oh, bad. And now because I'm fully surrounded, I have to shoot my way out. Hit for seven. Oh. Okay. This could be bad. What else can I do? Action points to open inventory, excuse me. Uh, la, 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 la. Can I use Doctor on myself? I probably need something to use. Cannot do that during combat. Fair enough. Alright, well. Yeah, okay. Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die as you have. Okay. <laughs> that was um, less than ideal. But clearly, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just straight up surrounded by mantises that keep taking bullets to the head and can't be stopped. Good to know. And also, good to know that... Wait, didn't I make a save game when I came out there? Why do they all say empty? Okay, well, what's going to happen is I'm going to try to figure out um, how to load a save game, if I can, or I will use the footage that I made from this today and re-roll the same guy and get to the outside of the vault in time for the next part for this, because I am going to continue to try to make some headway in this. Um, so, until next time, this has been Jim at the Midnight drive Through saying thank you and drive through. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Killed by bugs. Killed by a squad of bugs. And that guy that's just standing there, he's like, yep, those bugs are gonna kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs>